Well, here we have another garage find, folks. Believe it or not, ran across another one. Uh, this one happens to be a buddy of mine. And what I'm gonna show you today is not this G-Body. We'll get back to that one on a later date and time. But what I'm gonna show you is a car that, to my knowledge, has been sitting in a garage. And ironically, this garage was uh, probably a couple hundred yards away from a garage that I rented. And this car has been sitting in there for, I don't know, I would probably guess over the last 20 years untouched. So it has been just dusted off a little bit, but as you can see from the pictures earlier, this thing truly came out of a garage and was a barn or garage find, if you will. Look at this thing. 1982. Corvette. Now the door is ajar. I know in my other video I talked about taking pictures and videos with the doors ajar, but this one's ajar because this car has been sitting so long that if you close the doors tight, they get a little sticky. So I wanted to make it easy access to show you the interior. But anyway, here we are. Look at this thing. I wish I knew what the color was called on this. I should have did some research beforehand. I'll try to put it in the description when I do though, but for you guys, this is a 1982 Chevrolet Corvette garage find, barn find. It's got the Crossfire fuel injection. Minty Mint. Look at this thing. Well, I know it's fiberglass, but as you guys know, the weather can take a toll on aluminum steel metal we're in the northeast so the weather does not play around but look at this thing i got simba the dog here with me being real good i got the owner here also but we're going to keep uh him and her off camera right now but we are going to get some um some actual uh conversation with him because obviously he knows the story he or she knows the backstory on this more than anyone but just to kind of give you a quick go around and i haven't told you the best part about this yet this thing if i'm not mistaken has an original original 15,000 miles yes you heard it right one five fifteen thousand miles there has been nothing changed other than probably maintenance items nothing altered this has never been repainted this is factory paint all original this car is a gym these are the original goodyear eagle gt tires i grew up with these cars these are what came directly from the factory. I don't think they've ever been changed. 15,000 miles. Why would they be? Give you a quick view of the interior. And show you that 15,000 miles. You guys know I've had Corvettes. I've had quite a few of these Corvettes. I had a red 80, uh, 81, 82 for my wife. Had a black one. This interior never holds up. These bolsters always crack. They're always torn. They're ripped up. I remember I used to live in the Eckler's catalog for these things because that's where you would get your Corvette parts from. We got one little seam right there that probably just happened from, uh, you know, dry heat, whatever. But look at the door panels. I said before I crack up on the videos I see in the, on TV, when they call them door cards. I don't know about you, I call them door panels and that's what I'm sticking with. <laughs> Some door cards, I don't know where they got that from. But anyway, I digress. Owner tells me that there was a new stereo, uh, I'm sorry, a new uh, steering wheel put on uh, and they do have the horn button that they're waiting for, but because it's telescopic, it took a special one. 
But let's take a look at that mileage that I talked about. Let me see if I can get it. Let's see here. 15,893 original miles. These cars are gems. This thing is fully loaded. It's got power windows, power locks. I'm sure it's got AC. Yes, it does. I wonder if that's a factory radio. It's got to be. That thing doesn't look like it's ever come out of there, no? Let me ask the, the owner, the new owner here. Is that a factory radio in this? Never been touched. Dude, this thing has never been touched. And now that I've brought you into the conversation, dude, I got to give you credit. This thing is awesome. This thing is awesome. You got to tell me the backstory on this, like what you know about it. I know, I know you acquired it not too long ago. But what's the backstory? Like, how did you come across something like this? Like, and you know, I'm a little upset because literally it was sitting in a garage, seven or eight garages down from my garage that I've rented for probably seven, eight, ten years. Talk to me, dude. How did you come across this thing? Well, Darrell, um, a lady that I worked with and uh, she was the original owner from day one. Yeah. Um, she was given this car on her wedding day from her husband who had passed away um back in 2005 yeah. i believe it was okay. matter of fact yeah 2005 is the one the last time it was on the road let's see here <clears throat> actually 2002 but they had a she had to put a new sticker on it wow but it hasn't seen the road since because yeah. the husband passed and she just lost you know, all love for the car because it was a, actually something that uh, the husband had given her. Sure. And um, it, she had bought it local from a local dealership, and um, it's been put away for all these years. Dude, that, that I mean, incredible story, right? And you and I, we've we've grown up together all our lives, man. And you know, obviously, we've had our losses, you know, with our parents and stuff. So we know how it is to lose a loved one. So, um, shot, you know, definitely our sympathy out to her and, and the loss of her husband. But she's been a caretaker of this car since then. And I know you've had some... Yes, well, during the years when she, the past, she had hired me to take care of it, oil changes and keep up the, you know, the mm -hmm. maintenance and keeping it um, to where if she ever was to drive it again, yeah. we could just take it out. But uh, several years went by and she just told me to stop all you know transactions on doing whatever on the car and mm -hmm. and it just sat and it just, just yeah. sitting so i mean you keeping kind of the maintenance on it looking at this car in the condition it's in i mean just you probably this thing would probably fire right up and run no problem well with the gas i don't know because it's been sitting in the tank for such some time so yeah. i don't know it could be you know switched over to the turpentine but <laughs> if i had to i could probably do a flush on it and, and put a new fresh battery in it and uh some new clean oil and yeah it'll probably fire right up right right i'm i'm sure it will i mean i always look at cars and look at you know whether it's a ford chevy chrysler product it doesn't matter new old you look at the integrity of a car right you can tell if a car's got good bones you know what I mean? Yep. And you can tell this car has never been this taken car, apart. This car was never beaten on. This nope. car was never um, hot-rodded or anything like that. She took it to the store. They went on trips together as a, 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 a marriage couple would do. Yeah. And that's about it. And you and me, I mean, we, we've, we've had hundreds of, if not thousands of cars, some together, right? And, and we've had our, our share. Yeah, and, and we... Uh, we don't run across stuff like this that often. No. 15,000 original mile 1982 Corvette. I'm an English major, but do the math. I mean, if the car was last... I was in grade school when this was made. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. So, so think about that. And it was last registered or inspected in 2002. It is now 2022. Yep. So that's just 20, 20 years just 
off of the inspection sticker. Yep. For nothing to ever have been changed, altered, removed. I mean, it, it's truly a gem. This is this is incredible. Yeah, right down to the wiper blades. Nothing's ever been changed on this car at all. Even, even the wiper blades, he yep, says. they're all factory. I mean, I know the first thing on every Corvette I ever had, the center caps were gone. People would steal them, they'd come off or whatever. These are the factory yeah, originals. always take a toll. They, they freaking, they pit up and stuff like that. But these things just look like these came right off the roll. Yeah. You're, that's a good point because wheels come on and off right over a car yeah. that's been used a lot. Yeah. Flat tires, whatever. It's got the original brake pads, original everything. This is this, this is this is amazing. Original headlights, original everything in this car has never been touched. This is amazing. Oil change, I think maybe twice from what the maintenance records I have. Yeah. And um, plus, you're just your. Uh, inspections that's it right i'll tell you man and and uh, oh uh, shucks i shouldn't have uh closed the door all the way but you think you can get that back open yeah i want to check um the tag on it because i want to see what the color code is because in all honesty this being in here with no with no uh natural light thank you with no natural natural light actually isn't doing this color justice Oh, dude, it's a whole different car in the sun. Dude, this color is, yeah. it. it's almost like the Bahama blue, right? Or the Nassau blue from the older, older Corvettes with a twist. Um, ironically, my dad had a uh, 67 Pontiac Catalina 2 plus 2 428 car growing up. And it was this color. It was the baddest car around. And uh, if I was going to do an 82, uh, you know, Corvette, this would be the color I would have ordered myself, dude. I mean, everyone's got red. Let's see if I can get the color code. Look at this. Some of you Corvette guys probably know better than we do as far as what the actual color is called. I'll do some research and put it in the description, but Dude, I I mean, I got nothing else I can really say. I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to um get this on video and kind of preserve preserve it in 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 the way it is. Um it's just awesome. It's it's a time capsule. You're not even a Corvette guy and you like I am it. Not a no. <laughs> and you like it. Uh <clears throat> I love the color. I do like the color. <laughs> this guy says, I love the color. I do like the color. Yeah. All right, let's 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 do one last shot with that hood down, and we're going to wrap this baby up, man, because I don't know, man. I'm on overload once again. You guys know me. I get hyped. I get hyped up on this stuff, man. This is what I, I love, but can't tell you when the last time I found or, or even – seen a 1982 Chevy Corvette in this pretty blue. I'm going to call it twilight blue or something. I don't even know. It's just pretty because uh, <laughs> I make up it's my own color. Oh, stop that. <laughs> stop that. This ain't a girl's car. I'd rock this all day, every day, and on a Sunday too. But anyway, that's what I'm bringing to you today, folks. Maybe you'll let me come back up here one day when we can get the garage open yes, and absolutely. get some sunshine on it and yeah. really give like a a good view because these these for some reason the the lighting just isn't giving that blue to, it's it's due justice man but anyway you guys see it 1982 chevy corvette oh one thing we didn't talk about what's your thoughts on crossfire fuel injection wasn't a big fan <laughs> i was not a big fan matter of fact when i just got out of high school yeah i had um got my apprentice at uh, the local dealership in chevy yeah and we had a lot of issues with them, and I was always the one that had to fix them. And I was never a big fan, and still to this day, I am not a big fan. <laughs> That's funny, man. And, and you know, it's funny because I back in the day, I would avoid any car, cars just because they said Crossfire, mm -hmm. right? I had an opportunity to buy a Trans Am probably seven, eight months ago. And, and, uh, and Durrell, don't also for, forget that yep. this motor is only 180 horsepower at that time. True, true because that. The emissions. True that, well... Hundred, he says only 180 horsepower, which yeah, that's true. But um, here's a guy that drives a thousand horsepower car, so 
uh, I'm going to take that with a little grain of salt, dude. We're, we're, we're in a different league here with this car. <laughs> He's over there laughing. <laughs> anyway, just a quick video, man. This is I'm kicking it with my man, asking if I could come up and just showcase this car because I it's just blowing my mind. How original. 15,000 original miles set in a garage or at least the last inspection sticker from for what 20 years and he has been the caretaker for this woman who owns it who you know through an unfortunate circumstance her husband passed away and you know she she care you know took care of it as long as she could so here we are and I told him, you did tell me one other thing too I don't know if you mentioned it I might have got caught up doing the video but this was a birthday present or a gift or something to a wedding present, a wedding present yes. to her. Yes. Her husband bought this car brand for spanking as wedding, new for, as a wedding present as a wedding present. And, you know, she held on to it for as long as she could. Simba, what do you think you like? Simba's like, oh, Simba's saying Simba. Oh, yeah, the ear. Yep. Simba's ear said, yes, she likes. Anyway, all right, guys, you know what we say in On Junk all the time, right? We say, they don't have to be pretty. They don't even have to be cute. Corvette and blue, pretty blue. Listen, I don't care what anyone say. 15,000 miles. Crossfire fuel injection. Don't matter. All original, untouched woman owned with an incredible story she was given this as a as a, a wedding gift and here it is sitting here fifteen thousand miles car on junk baby for life peace y'all